20 years experience with roofing products, procedures, and maintenance is now available to RV owners through Rudy, the Dicor RV care expert. RVers have a big investment under their roofs and Rudy's there to make roof care easier and friendlier. It's part of Dicor's commitment to all our customers. See more at Dicor.com slash Rudy. Sherman Goldenberg here, RV Business, with, with a, a, a couple of gentlemen from uh, Thor Motor Coach. We're in the Walkerusa facility with uh, uh, John Kreider. Um, let me see if I can get this right. He is Director of Marketing and Product Planning for Thor Motor Coach. Did I get that Correct. right? Yes, absolutely uh, right. And, and Dan Manloff, mm -hmm. who's an East Coast RUV sales rep. Yep. All right? Okay. Now, which brings us up right away to the reason we're here, RUV. Mm -hmm. We're standing in front of a, of a motor home that Thor introduced at the open house. Uh, it goes under the name of an Axis and a Vegas. And it, it is being presented, introduced, and will be a, at Louisville mm -hmm. uh, as basically a, 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 a category buster, a motorhome that by definition, by its very content and design, may change the way we view Class A motorhomes uh, down the road. Is that, is that an apt description? Absolutely, and I, I don't mean to uh, correct you or anything, but at Thor Motor Coach, we don't look at this as a motor home at all. We look at it as an RUV, which is a recreational utility vehicle. So, yes, it, it kind of uh, looks like a motor home on the outside, but as far as we're concerned, it is a segment buster. It's a new segment in the market. It is a uh, something that acts more like a sports utility vehicle, like your Yukon or your Suburban, uh, but has all the amenities that a typical Class A or Class C motor home would have inside. So now you don't have to give one up to have the other. You don't have to be able to uh, travel down the road and have to stop at every rest stop or go eat out every night or stay at a hotel. Now you have that suburban with the indoor facilities. That would be a, a, a big deal in the, in the resurgent Class A motorhome business mm -hmm. to have a vehicle that to that extent redefines the market. Let's talk some basics real quick. You got a 25 footer. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's right at 25 foot, so it's nice and short, easy to maneuver. Uh, Ford E Series platform chassis. Correct. Yep. Um, in itself, a novel twist. Yes, very much. So. A strip chassis. It's a strip chassis instead of being the traditional cab chassis. It's a strip chassis. Never been one. Uh, there's been some. Ever. There's never been one this good though. <laughs> so. Well put. <laughs> in, in basic dimension and styling, it's not a low. It's not a vixen for those who go back far enough, or and you don't. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and it's not, you know, a Lasharo in terms of that. It's more of a of a of a of a straight up vehicle, right? That's correct. I mean, with the RUV, what we've given you is a lower profile chassis, um, so it's lower to the ground. It's got a lower center of gravity. It's also got a wider rail base on it, so easier maneuver. Um, it's only 11 foot three to the top of the AC unit, so you're going to get the height that you would see normally in a Class C motorhome. So in, in many ways, it's a, it's a highly functional motorhome um, for a unit that, that, uh, of its dimension. Absolutely. With the RUV, what you get is an 82-inch ceiling height and a lot of livability space on the inside. Um, you see a traditional floor plan inside that you would see um, in our Sprinter floor plans. Um, so we've kind of mixed everything that we had in our bag of tricks and put it all together. A Class C frame, Class A motorhome with a uh, Sprinter floor plan. We put it all together. Um, Came up with the RUV. Let's take a look at it here real quick, all right? I want you to uh, give us a quick tour. Okay. All right, so first thing that you see, obviously, when we come here is the large windshield, aerodynamically shaped, all right? It wraps on the bottom all the way to the top, which gives everybody inside, including the driver, the passengers in the back, everyone, a clear view of the front and the drive. That you, that, that, that's the most enjoyable part about going on these trips is seeing what you see along the way. So what our RUV gives you is a full angle view out the front, no matter where you're sitting inside here. Um, I think when we, when we first started the concept here, when we were thinking about how we were going to build a coach that was going to be different, that was going to change the market and make a new segment, we were actually looking at the front end and saying, okay, how can we make this a little bit smaller? How can we make it more compact? How can we make it more like you're driving your normal SUV you drive every day? 
So we, we did all the things Dan just mentioned, is we took the windshield, the way we designed the front, the way we did the headlights, everything had a purpose. It was all purpose to make it smaller, more compact, easier to maneuver, and actually easier for people to envision themselves driving because it's not so big and it's not so massive and it looks more like something they parked in their driveway. Yeah, with affordability in mind. Absolutely, and that, you know that's the thing. When you look at this coach, um, it's got the same kind of price tag that a brand new Escalade's got, or a brand new decked out Suburban's got. Um, so if you're somebody that's already got an Infiniti or a, or a Lexus at home, you probably paid more for your, for your SUV than you paid for this RUV. As we walk around this way, you can see that it kind of tapers into the front end. Um, it gives you a more aerodynamic feel, you get less drag and push as you're driving down the road. Um, also, what we're going to give you on here is a real nice chrome integrated side view mirrors and frameless windows, something that you'd see on a higher price point unit, but we're integrated into a mid price to low price unit that we are offering here at our UV. Also on the outside, HD Max is going to be the standard outside and multiple storage all the way down. Plenty of storage that goes all the way across the coach, front, middle, back. It's going to give you the best of everything. It's going to make that SUV that you're driving at home look like you've got nothing on the inside. As you can see on the inside of the coach, we've got plenty to talk about here. But the main features are all the storage. You've got plenty of sleeping room all inside the coach. You've got multiple things like an overhead bunk, a uh, sofa that turns into a bed, and then you've got twin beds that'll actually convert to a king bed back in the back. And of course, you're fully equipped with the kitchen and the bathroom. So all those long trips with the kids, no longer are we gonna hear, are we there yet? Now, I mentioned earlier about the headroom in here, as you can see, ample headroom, 82 inches to the ceiling. So to accommodate anyone six foot six, six foot seven, all the way through here. One of the best selling features is a drop down overhead bunk. If you're gonna use this coach, you're gonna definitely wanna be connected. So you might not be using this for camping, but you're just using it on the road. We got plenty of USB ports. We got 110 wiring. And of course, you're gonna need a place to put your laptop or your tablet when you're out there on the road. So uh, appreciate the tour, uh, Thank you. Uh, John um, and Dan. Mm -hmm. um, damn interesting coach. Absolutely. Uh, 25 foot, 12,500 40 series chassis. Mm -hmm. uh, realistically retailing for something like what? We hear that they're going for around the $80,000 mark. So sure. that's kind of the true market value out there. All right, and uh, we appreciate that and by the way, we're in Wakarusa, Indiana, mm -hmm. in a plant that has a Thor sign in front of it uh, <laughs> that I had not seen until this morning. Correct. Uh, tell us about that. Uh, well, we're finally into the new facility now, so we picked up this uh, new building down here in Wakarusa. Um, so it gives us uh, a lot more manufacturing space, which is one of the things that we were kind of clogged up in Elkhart. Um, the market's been uh, pretty good for us, and uh, we've sold a lot of motorhomes, but we were just running out of places to be able to build them. So with this, uh, with this new facility, we get about another 450,000 square foot under roof. It gives us uh, some opportunities to move some products from Elkhart to Wakarusa, have some different concentrations so we can get all of a certain kind of product on one line and all of a certain kind of other product on another line so we can really become uh, even better than what we're doing because we're building uh, more things at a better rate of the same kind. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Seriously. you being in today. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.